well breakfast on board bacon and eggs um, <laughs> a lot of people ashore say it's unhealthy it probably is but on a boat in the chill morning there's nothing like bacon and eggs I always call it the caviar of cruising I also had two naked canoeists on the back of my boat so when the lifeboat came aboard came alongside to deliver these shivering naked souls um, I kept maneuvering the boat to bring it alongside the lifeboat you see and the skipper of the lifeboat then as a delightful chap called Charles or Hugh or something like that and he said excuse me sir would you mind staying still and I will manoeuvre to you there was a boat on it therefore this is technically a and I've got um, three types of as yet unidentified um, fungus I suppose it is um, I've got a sort of rampant sort of red haired type um, fungus growing in one locker and on in the other locker there's uh, they're like um, well they're, they're like uh, shells um, solid shells um, and they stick onto the wood and you have to bleach them off and then I've got this uh, cauliflower looking uh, fungus which I actually scraped out the you know I'm sad that uh, I'm not a billionaire and therefore able to uh, keep the boat for the rest of my life well now that the last race of Coral of Cows is uh, finished and over um, it's kind of sad but um, uh, uh, there's plenty more races it's more about being a sailor than the boat this is a special boat. Now I'm reading a very good article here on the south coast. It's the Yachting Monthly of 1947. Now I've never had ladies on board because I am the skipper and I'm the one who give all the orders to maintain and guide and sail the vessel. No, no ladies ever cooked at all on board Old Possum. Here we are then. One cheese sandwich coming up. This is a this is something for a young man to get out of here, isn't it? Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a knack. There's a, so there is a mind little, your head. There's a little knack. It's like getting out of a parked car with the door too close. Is that what it is? Uh, but it's also uh, an indication of just how they set it up. This was the this was the upstairs, and that was the downstairs. The paid hand was up there, so all you had to do was pass the food through this door so the owner and his friends might never have done what I did. <laughs> when I was a student in Foolish and doing the National uh, Schools Regatta, really for a joke, I wore a bowler hat uh, like this and uh, we did jive and I was hit by the boom and wearing a bowler hat I felt completely protected. So now it's sort of part of my logo. I always wear a bowler hat when I'm, uh, when I'm sailing this boat and people either look um, irritated or they laugh. Oh, no! Fuck's sake! It is a very nice boat. <laughs> <laughs> is that your script? <laughs> right. no, this is a first. <laughs> <laughs> the boat was built then. <laughs> we took the levers off and the pin had actually come out at the time. Uh, hit it, but with the jiggling around the pin had come out and the bowsprit just disappeared completely. 
which was <laughs> and it was sudden panic it was like oh my god the bowsprit's gone <laughs> after 27 years it was getting to the stage where she really needed a total overhaul and my husband was getting really fed up every spring doing the same old thing trying to get it back up to spec and I could see him getting more and more depressed with it and over the years I'd been the one to say oh no we must keep her just do another year and in the end I my heart won I thought I can't make him do this any longer and so we decided right this is it if we're going to carry on boating and enjoy it we really need to get the GRP a motor sailor or something a bit more gentlemanly with plenty of room and um, so we made the big decision very quickly and uh, have regretted it since to make to me to me <laughs> I do love our new boat but it's just it, it is a wrench it's a big wrench getting rid of it but um, I'm hoping that she's going to be well done up now and, uh, and I can see it from time to time looking as we wanted to get her, which is why we parted with her. Part of me wants to grab her back and do it all again. <laughs> um, I'm hating seeing her sitting here. Now I'm going to cry. Um, and it's not mine anymore. So when Richard is uh, doing something up on the foredeck, then I sometimes take over on the helm. And I have my little chair here, a little seat that sits on the edge of the cockpit uh, that just allows me to have um, a place to sit and then, and then I can actually have the tiller extension on the helm. So that's my little job, is when I'm on the helm. So I have these two bits of uh, equipment that help me on my job on the helm. <laughs> okay, I recently became uh, honorary painter to the Royal Yacht Squadron, and w which is a huge accolade. Um, not in my wildest dreams I would have thought that could ever happen to me. Something that keeps me merry and bright is a song. And one of my favourite songs is the Blackpool Rock. Every year when the summer comes round, off to the sea I go. I don't care if I do spend a pound, I'm one of the rash I know. See me dressed like all the sports, in my blazer and my pair of shorts, with my little stick of Blackpool Rock. I go while bathing in the sea, my wits had to use. She said, I'm drowning, and to save me, you won't refuse. I said, if you are drowning, then I don't want to lose. My little stick of black pole, little stick of black pole, little stick of black pole, oh, yeah. Thank you.